British Long Hair Cat vs. British Short Hair Cat The British long hair is closely related to the British short hair in terms of their shared history. After all, both breeds meet the same standard and the only real difference is the British long hair's long, soft coat, which came about through crossbreeding with Persian cats. In today's video, we will compare and contrast British long hair cats with British short hair cats. Appearance the British Shorthair is a medium-sized to large cat and she is a very powerful one. She is heavily muscled and has heavy boning. She has a rounded, thick appearance. As a powerful cat, all components of this breed should be well-developed. The British Shorthair has a broad chest, muscular neck, strong jaws, and well-developed muzzle. The legs are thick and strong. The breed looks like what she originally was, a cat that was to keep rodents out of the barn and the house. Its coat is thick and dense. It becomes much longer and thicker during the winter. The texture of the coat is relatively hard, as it is meant as protection for the cat. Like their short-haired relatives, Highlanders have a stout body that is ideally muscular but not fat. The legs are short and the chest is wide and powerful. Their head is round, whilst the nose is short wide, and slightly indented in contrast to many other long-haired cats. As with the British short hair, the ears are small and round. Along with its large, dark round eyes and plushy fur, this makes the British long hair look like a teddy bear. Females weigh between 4 and 6 kilograms, whilst males weigh up to 8 kilograms. Compared to larger framed cats like the Maine Coon, the British short hair is compact but often appears bigger due to its thick coat. Character British long hair cats combine the characteristics of British short hairs and Persian cats. They are calm, even tempered animals that in most cases are ideal to be kept in the home. As with most cats, they like attention and love contact with their people, especially regular stroking and play sessions. The British short hair is a very pleasant cat to have as a companion. She is easygoing and placid. The short hair is a fiercely loyal, loving cat and will attach herself to every one of her family members. While the short hair loves to play, she doesn't need hourly attention. If she is in the mood to play, she will find someone and bring a toy to that person. The short hair also plays well by herself, and thus is a good companion for single people. History The British short hair is possibly the oldest cat breed in Great Britain. The most agreed-upon theory of this breed's development is that British short hairs started out as short-haired street cats, but breeders refined and standardized the cats until they resembled the British short hair we know and love today. British short hairs were among the breeds exhibited at England's first organized cat show in 1871. Back then, the breed was called British Blue, owing to the fact that blue was a very common color in the breed, especially early on. The British long hair originates from breeding British short hairs with Persian cats. Originally, such crossbreeding took place in order to increase the British short hair gene pool, which had become smaller after the First and Second World Wars. The gene for long fur is transmitted recessively, therefore is carried in the breed's gene pool in a concealed manner. Sometimes long-haired cats are only produced several generations later. Care as the breed name suggests, the British short hair has a short coat that needs only minimal grooming. Brush your British short hair once a week using a soft, slicker brush. Brush more frequently during periods of seasonal shedding to remove loose hair before it ends up all over the house. Trim the nails every other week and check inside the ears weekly. If you see a little debris in the ears, use a pet ear cleaner and cotton balls to clean the ears. Never use a cotton swab. If your British short hair's ears look red or excessively dirty, make an appointment to see your veterinarian. British short hairs are playful well into adulthood, but they are not hyper or excessively active. They can get plenty of exercise by exploring the house and playing with you a few times a day. A long coat requires more care than short fur. However, the effort needed to care for the British long hair's coat can be kept under control. To avoid the undercoat matting and becoming knotted, your cat usually needs brushing thoroughly just once a week, perhaps more often when molting or for animals with a longer coat. Cats should get used to brushes and combs from an early age to prevent knotted fur from the offset. 
there's a huge range of cat brushes and calms on the market. What works for you and your cat often depends on individual preference. Start off with a very soft brush that doesn't pull at fine kitten fur or damage the skin. Give a small treat each time you have finished brushing. If regular coat care doesn't cause any problems for you or your cat, if necessary, you can try even more effective brushes and calms when they reach adult age. Health British short hairs are a notably healthy breed that is rarely affected by genetic disease. Among genetic illnesses, they are most prone to heart disease, specifically hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Of course, any can become sick, injured, or develop a health condition. For that reason, it's important to visit your veterinarian at least once a year for a physical exam to ensure your cat is healthy and to stay on top of any developing health concerns. Although the Highlanders are uncomplicated cats, on the whole, they are prone to some of the typical illnesses suffered by their short-haired relatives. As with the British short hair, obesity is, for example, a big problem for pets kept primarily indoors. The best antidote to this is regular exercise. Get into the swing of things and enjoy playing with your cat. British long hairs suffer increasingly from polycystic kidney disease. Since this hereditary disease occurs increasingly amongst British short hairs and Persian cats, the British long hair is also affected as a cross between these two breeds. Kidney cysts develop very early in the younger years and can be very easily detected by ultrasound. Furthermore, a heart disease called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy occurs frequently in British long hairs. Regular heart ultrasounds are the best way of recognizing the disease in its early phase and excluding affected animals from breeding. Whilst there is no cure for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, an early diagnosis offers the possibility of treatment to ensure that affected cats still live long life. Breed the British short hair is slow to mature, both physically and mentally. These cats generally don't achieve their final size and weight until somewhere between three and five years old. British short hairs may continue to display kittenish energy and playfulness until they reach maturity, but once fully mature, this breed is calm and well-behaved. They are affectionate without being needy and are accepting of strangers, though they may be a bit aloof until they get to know you better. The British long hair is a relatively young breed that has still not been recognized by all breeding associations. Those that do acknowledge the British long hair allow it to be paired with the British short hair. Many short-haired cats actually carry the long-haired gene, and there are even genetic tests to specifically identify such cats for breeding. As a young breed, there is usually a wide variety of sizes, weights, and coat lengths amongst British long hair cats. Each breeder has different priorities and favors different cat types for breeding. As a result, a more unified breed standard often only comes about after several years of targeted breeding. That's it for today. Hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.